Lewitt made this new microphone. And at first sight, it looks very much like the LCT 440. But I can guarantee you that this microphone is nothing like you've ever heard. Before I'm going to explain what is so special about this microphone, I first want to invite you all to take a good listen. I ran at Sound Vision Studio and asked Mickey to perform her new yet to be released track. And we are comparing the Ray against an LCT 440 and a Neumann U47 FAT. We try to fight alone to make it As you could hear, this microphone sounds a bit thinner compared to the other cardioid microphones. And that is because the array doesn't have a proximity effect, which is weird, a cardioid microphone without a proximity effect. Now let's listen to the second part of the song and I'll explain afterwards. We try to Now that ending looked a bit weird. And let's watch it again, but this time while listening to the U47. I just wanna make, I don't wanna play it. I don't wanna heal, I just wanna fake it. I just wanna feel, I don't wanna tame it. Even if we make it, don't you break it. Now, how is this possible? Well, on the front of the ray, there are two LiDAR sensors and these sensors constantly measure the distance between the microphone and the performer. And because the microphone knows this distance, it can change the processing on the fly. And this works really well, as long as you're not waving your hands in front of it, like I was doing in a few videos. But yeah, I've used this in a few recent videos. And one of the things that I noticed is that I needed to use a lot less compression. I mean, using LiDAR is kind of the ultimate feed-forward compression. And I don't think that there is a single compressor in the world that can work as accurately as this method. Now, using this to record vocals is a use case, of course, although I can imagine that you actually want to turn it off, which is possible, by the way, because some people like to play with the proximity effect from a creative standpoint. Where this microphone really shines is in things like podcasting, live streaming, and uh, yeah, recording audio for videos like I'm doing. Now, one cool extra feature that's really useful in podcasting and live streaming is that it can mute based on distance. So I can set a distance in here and when I move away from the microphone, it automatically mutes. So if I want to discuss something with somebody else, but don't want to have it on the live stream, I can just move away my head and when I come back, it will automatically unmute itself again. What is probably what I think the coolest feature of this microphone is the price, because this thing is going to be sold for 350 euros. And I had to check that price multiple times because I was thinking that I was missing a zero, because the technology in here, I think, is worth 3,500 euros. But no, 
Lewitt is going to sell this microphone for 350 euros. Kind of a no-brainer for a, you know, super versatile microphone that can be used by basically everybody because it just compensates for the incompetence of the person that is using the microphone. Now, what do you all think? I'm super excited about this because this is, you know, something new, development, a revolution maybe, something that I haven't seen before. And do you all think it's a cool new feature or maybe this is too much and shouldn't exist? Uh, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear it. Now, this video wasn't sponsored by Leward or anybody else. And the production costs for recording that clip that you saw in the beginning of this video were all paid by me out of pocket. Of course, Lewitt did send me the Ray and I think I can keep it. I would love to keep it, but that's up to them to decide. Now, Lewitt also didn't have any saying in the content of this video of what I can or couldn't say. And uh, I like to keep it that way. So if you want to support the independence of this channel, make sure to use my affiliate links. For instance, when buying a Ray or something else, they will all be in the description down below. Another way to support the channel is by becoming a channel member and channel member get early access to videos whenever possible. This was an embargoed product, couldn't do it. But they also will get access to some exclusive content, uh, including the unboxing and first look at the Ray. So yeah, if you want to like to see that extra content, make sure to sign up as a channel member. The join button will be somewhere down below. Last way to support me and the whole YouTube platform is by watching more videos. So I'll link an interesting video over here. Thanks a lot for watching, keep pushing and bye bye.